welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm not sure if it's going to be a talk through or just played with music. I'm not sure. I usually usually decide when I'm editing the video. I don't really know. So, um, yeah, I'm doing this look. Um, I've done this look a couple of times, but it's been with a different eyeshadow. I've been doing the meat matte little sample thing when I would do this look when I got it in my Ipsy bag, but I tried a different color. Absolutely love it. Looks like that. Um, I kind of rubbed off, so it doesn't, yeah. But really pretty. It's in my Think Pink palette, my Coastal Sense one. Um, I never really do my hair and get ready with these because I usually don't do much of my hair except for curl it and straighten it. Um, that is one thing that I need to do. I need to learn how to do my hair. And this little thing's from Charlotte Russe, if you guys wanted to know. Um, I got it and it's cute. It's good for like getting my hair out of the way and not putting it up and blah blah blah. So yeah, I really like this look. I tried it with a bold lip and this slip and you'll see the bold lip that I used. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe because I will admit I've been doing really bad at posting videos just because I, you know, I just... Rude. I don't know. I, I don't want to make any excuses because if I wanted to, I could upload videos. Yeah, so I'm not going to make any excuses. And if you guys do not know, I did dye my hair. It's like an ombre sun-kissed look. It's cute. And I also want to point out this uh, shirt I got at Goodwill. I just thought it was cute. I didn't even know what team it was. I honestly don't really know what team it is still. Is it the Eagles or something? I don't know. So, I don't know, I just thought it was cute. So don't, like, judge me and be like, oh, if you like that thing, blah, blah, No, I just thought it was cute. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Okay. So, here, putting on my cute little headphones, um, now I'm going to take the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm, and I'm going to use it as a primer because, you know, most people have been using that as primer and it's okay you know but I like the smell so yeah <laughs> so next I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color porcelain 110, and then I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color 104 Golden Beige, and I'm just gonna do that a little over my face because I'm a little pale right now, so it just kind of helps even it out, and so it's not so matte. Oh my God, my face! What am I doing? Okay. Next, I'm just going to be taking those two foundations and using my Beauty Blender from... I just got out of TJ Maxx. I don't know exactly what the brand was, but yeah, it was really cheap and it worked pretty well. So yeah, I'm just putting that on my neck also. So yeah, I'm just dabbing it all over my face. You get it? Dabbing? <laughs> So now I'm going to be taking my Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer in the color 125 Fair. This stuff is awesome. It's kind of like a dupe to the LA Girl Pro Concealer, but you know, I, I like it, so I, that's nice.
Now I'm going to be taking my Airspun translucent powder and I'm just going to bake my face. It's going to be really cool if I can get the powder out of it. I think I got it. Okay, cool. Yep. Now I'm going to be taking the same translucent powder and I'm just going to set my whole face. Now I'm going to be taking my NYX matte bronzer and the color medium and I'm just going to bronze my face where you normally do. Now I'm going to be taking the same bronzer and I'm going to do a little bit of contouring but not too much because I'm definitely not the best at it but I just wanted a little contoured nose just because you know for the sake of this video and wanted to try something different so yeah. So now I'm going to be taking my little sample size Jouer highlighter on the color TR. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, but I'm just highlighting the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose and it looks really pretty. So now I'm going to be taking my Tarte blush in the color Exposed and I'm going to put that on with my Real Techniques Multitask Brush and I love this blush because I'm not much of a blush person but um, yeah it's really neutral um, and it's good if you don't like a lot of blush so yeah, really pretty. So next I'm going to be taking my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush and I'm going to get my Morphe palette and there's this shade on the top left. Um, it's the most beautiful highlight shade I've ever used. So I use that and my freaking face is like a glazed donut. I freaking love it. So now I'm going to take my NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer and I love this stuff. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand. So now I'm going to be taking the same translucent powder by Airspun and I'm just going to be setting my eyeshadow primer. So now I'm going to be taking a Coastal Sin shade and it's in the color Oatmeal Tan and I'm going to be applying that with a tart brush.
Now I'm going to be taking the shade out of my pink palette um, by Coastal Scents, and this is called Raisinberry. And I'm just going to be spraying my Eco Tools brush with the Rose Water and Glycerin spray, and just to make it more pigmented and more vibrant. Now I'm going to be taking the same crease shade that I used and I'm going to be blending out the color Raisinberry just to make it not as harsh. I'm going to be taking Raisinberry again and I'm just going to be repeating the steps I just did. Just, you know, blending, adding more, blending, adding more. Now I'm going to be taking my NYX Full Throttle Haywire palette, and I'm just going to be taking the black color and putting it on the crease just to blend the two colors together. Now I'm going to be taking the same Morphe palette with the same shade that I used to highlight my face and I'm just going to be highlighting under my brow and in my inner corner of the eye. Now I'm going to be taking the same black shade with my Eco Tools smudger end of the brush and I'm just taking a little bit on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking the same orange shade that I've used on my crease and I'm just going to be blending up black so it's not so harsh. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and I'm going to coat them with the Maybelline New York the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Absolutely love this stuff. Go get it. Just kidding, you don't have to, but it's really good. Can't forget the bottom lashes. So now I'm going to be taking my Ardell Glamour Lashes and I'm just going to be applying those with my Duo Rash Glue. So I was having a little trouble here putting on my lashes like in the inner corner. I think it was because I let them dry for too long, but um, I take them off and I do it again, but it's still the same process. <laughs> 